Yo, what's going on, everybody? Uh, Chris Nirvana Tool here. I was in the middle of building a deck, and I was like, hmm, maybe I should actually just start streaming this. So I decided, impromptu, unplanned, let's build a deck together. How about that? Just, um, you know, I started going through the process of trying to put together a Madriga deck. Uh, it was one of the warlords that Wes has assigned to me for Epic Edition. So started kind of doing my normal ritual of building a deck. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should actually, you know, give you guys something to watch and start doing some things. So threw together a few overlays, a little fancy graphics or really rough cut together graphics. Some might recognize this overlay from my EE analysis with just some text and <laughs> Madriga copied it. But I was like, let's do it. Let's have some fun, guys. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through my process and we're actually going to just build a deck here. I uh, don't know how this is going to go. Again, as I said, completely unplanned. And it's just like, hey, let's just do it. Uh, already getting suggestions in the chat. So I already like that. But um, let's, uh, I guess I can just go right into it. Um, so the way I like to build decks, and it, it, again, it, it's always, is never an exact science. You're never going to build a perfect deck, usually in your first go. Uh, but this is the process that I take personally in order to get a rough draft of any kind of warlord I want to build. Uh, step one is very, very, very obvious. Get the warlord. <laughs> in the slot that warlord in the deck. That's the first card you slot in. So most of the time, I'd say like 99% of the time, you're, you're building a deck around the warlord, or at least you're building a warlord to kind of be the engine behind some idea you're doing. Like with my Kothka deck, Kothka wasn't really necessary to my win condition, but his ability absolutely was the engine that got that whole Serene uh, Karachuk engine going. So they're usually around the easy, you know, just the centerpiece of the deck. So where it's going to go. So starting off, I have Madriga. So let's take a look at her together. Uh, so she's a Daybreak and a Nightfall ability, which is a theme we see in, uh, in uh, Epic Edition. She's level 5 Cleric. Clerics are good. Clerics are probably the best class. They're absolutely broken. So a lot to it. And she's got the Cantor trait. Uh, very, very, very solid trait. Uh, especially when Lift Up Your Voices is the buff of choice. So first thing I do is kind of take a look at this. It's like, okay. She has a Daybreak ability. Order Inflict a Wound on Madriga. If it is the first turn, your characters have plus three attack until the end of turn. Nightfall. Once per turn, remove a wound from Madriga. If it is not the first turn, target another Deverinian who gets plus one HP permanently. So little theme here seems to go hard, go fast, turn one. And, you know, then afterwards you might want to get some little longevity. So the Nightfall ability isn't exactly what I'm kind of focusing on. And then that's what it is. It's like, take a look at the Warlord and what exactly do you want to do with it and the daybreak ability is what's kind of calling out to me right now you know where i really want to focus on along with the fact that it's a level five cleric canter uh so then you go to the next piece and i've already have you guys can see like a little on the left side i got some of these kind of initial cards put together this is the, how far i got before i was like let me go and stream so the first piece was okay here's madriga this is a madriga deck i want to build all right so what can she do that is so special and that's when I came across Lady Helene. Uh, might recognize some of this art. I think this art was used to promote Epic Edition or promote the set that this is in. What is this, Eye of the Storm? I remember seeing this image and being like, that's some badass art. Uh, but it's a level one paladin. While uh, Helen, she loses the lady in the description. Look at that. Uh, has plus five or greater attack. She has an additional melee strike, base plus zero and four AC. So Madriga and her seem like a very nice pair, though Madriga's order is just one attack too short, which kind of sucks. <laughs> um, so then, you know, you definitely have a few things where it's like, okay, but either way, these two seem to be like the key right now, where I'm going to have Madriga and I'm going to have Lady Helene. And... The ultimate goal then is, all right, well, get these going so you hit like a truck while backed by clerics. So the first next piece of that puzzle 
is lift up your voices. Uh, it, until the end of the turn, characters you control that share the alignment and faction with this cleric have a bonus to AC and skill and attack if it's a cleric equal to this cleric's level. So that means we can just check that out. All right, cool. They're both devs. They're both evil. So we haven't. We're starting to get there. Starting to get some pieces together. So this is the whole gimmick of the deck. It's to get Madriga out, to play lift up your voices on Lady Helene, and just go, 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 very angrily. So that is starting to be the the framework of the deck, if you will. Like that, like that's what we're gonna go. And now how do we enhance it? How do we make it stronger? Um, so there's a few things we can start. We can start building up the stuff the rest of the starting army running at level two. I already see you guys talking about what I already had in mind, kinda. Uh, in, ex actually, yes, what I had in mind in terms of what we were going to do. Uh, but I was still also, the very next thing was, okay, so I'm 40, let's say we're going to go 50 card deck. That's a general rule that I always go. I never like to go more than 50. Um, if you go 52, it's fine. Uh, I'm not going to like criticize like, no, you have to play the exact minimum. Like, that's my own personal philosophy. Everybody's kind of got their own thing. But the ultimate goal that I always say is play what you feel comfortable with. If you can't cut a card down to 50 cards and you want to run 51, like, go for it. You want to run 60 just because it's like, hey, screw it. It's cool. Whatever. Just, like, do it. But I like to optimize it and try and get 50 exactly. There's always, to me, there's always exactly, like, if you're going to rank all the cards in your deck, you can rank them from 1 to 50. There's always a 50. There's always a 51. There's always a 52. So if you can just kind of cut them out and get the 50 best cards, you always got it. That's just a personal philosophy of mine. Uh, not everybody's going to agree with that, though. But um, for, the, for the sake of this video, that's what I'm going to do. Um, but so we have a 50-card deck. You start with six in play, so you have 44. You draw five cards a turn. So roughly nine total hands, let's say, uh, that you're going to go through. And you're running three copies of a card. So well, the chances that you're going to draw a lift up your voices is just not reliable. Uh, sure, you're going to draw it sometimes, and it's going to be great. Um, I don't know, remember the exact percentage it is to draw one copy of a 3x card out of a 44 card deck. I know there's a website that will actually like pull up that percentage for you, or somebody in the chat if you guys know it off the top of your head. But uh, for all intents and purposes, it's, it, it's not consistent. Um, enough to kind of like, I'm going to build my entire deck because it's, it's just something you can't guarantee. So what do you do? Well, let's put in other options to kind of, maybe not exactly lift up your voices, but other things that still get Lady Helene going. Um, and the next option while searching around is Insight Courage. Uh, while it's in the discard pile, your characters have plus one attack and minus two AC. Uh, order, discard up to two cards from the top of your deck, up to four cards if you're a canter, which we are. Until the end of turn, your characters have plus one attack for each card discarded. So right off of the bat, while it doesn't necessarily make Lady Helene as durable of the AC-wise as Lift Up Your Voices is, drawing either a Lift Up Your Voices or Insight Courage still turns on exactly what we want to do with this deck. So we can actually, you know, start going through that uh, and start getting that. So like, that's where I got to and that's where I stopped. So now we kind of have to fill this out. So now normally with my deck building process, I usually do this. Like I usually get like the first few pieces in and, like, and get that in. And then what I'll do is I'll start going through either. I always usually like to play, especially a deck like this, I'm going to play 25 characters. So it'll be a split between 25 characters and 25 actions and or items. Uh, so with that, then what I would usually do then is start going through every single Deverinian in this Epic Edition. It becomes a lot easier now that you have something like the Accord Lands, uh, where you can just kind of start going through that and just literally set in the filters of what you want to see and then do that. So we'll do that as we kind of go along. But I go through the devs, make sure there's anything. Then I might, you know, just do, like a general rule. Like, I guess this is like, that's like step. I don't even know what step we're on anymore. I've kind of lost track. But let's say that like that was like step four or whatever. 
of the deck building thing. Step 4A is, if, if step 4 is looking at all the characters of that faction of devs, step 4A is, are there any mercenaries worth playing? So I doubt it just because of how uh, the abilities with like lift up your voices only targets people of that faction. Uh, Madriga can only target a Deverini with a Nightfall. Uh, still could boost other characters with that order of attack. So that could be it. Um, just put all of Arc to Quiet in the deck already. <laughs> That's what Woodrow was saying. Technically, yes. Uh, and that would be a Deveridian. So there you go. Or all of Arc, all Arc Evil. I don't know if it gains uh, the the same alignment as well. But hey, whatever. Either way. Um, but, you know, just, just start going through Mercs and just try and figure out what we want to do there. And then from there, it's like, all right, I got the character bases. I know who the, you know, who the squad is. What's the team looking like? Then how do I fill in the rest of the gaps in terms of, you know, what powers them to victory? So that's usually how I kind of go about building a first draft of the deck. Once you get the first draft, you usually then will kind of refine based off of games you play. And you play. Guth 48, thank you for the follow, bud. I appreciate it. And you just reminded me that my alerts are all hidden in the back. So thank you for that. Shows you that I was very unprepared <laughs> for this stream. Anyway, um, so let's start going through that. Let's start filling out some of the things. And we're going to start by filling out the rest of the starting army. And what I was thinking here is with Lady Helene, so if you have Lift Up Your Voices in your hand, opening hand, what's the ideal situation? Well, you want to win initiative so Lady Helene doesn't die. Uh, and the way to do that is to, so you're going to want to cast Lift Up Your Voices and win initiative. So you need something that will win initiative um, and then, you know, just have a generally good ability. Uh, if you looked at some of the Deverney and potential starters that I had in the analysis, there was a few that we named, but there was one that really stands out and one who I've had success with in other Deverney decks, and that is Acolyte Dora. So I think we're going to slot that in as our level two, but let's just, for the sake of this tutorial, look at Deverinians that are level two in Epic Edition. And you can see, guys, this is how you kind of just use... If you're not familiar with the filter functions on the core lands, they are very useful. So you look at some of the level two options that we would have, and you can kind of go through this probably like, you know, what is this, like 15 or so options. And normally what I'll do then is I'll start going through and just reading every single one. Just is it worth it? No. Is it worth it? No. Is it worth it? No. Um, and that's how we kind of do that. So right now... Let's see. All right, we get we get some other options in there. Uh yep. So Uber Crew Smash. There we go. That's another option that we can also look at. So we'll jump right into it. So Acolyte Door was the first one that kind of stood out to me. Uh just because the ability to roll two will help me win initiative, and that'll be great. Another option that is just getting suggested in the chat is Acolyte Chastin. Or Chastin. I mean, yeah, no, we're gonna go with Chastin. Whatever. Who knows how to pronounce any of these weird names anyway. Uh, is a Deverine, it's a Cantor, it's a level two. Has a Daybreak ability, once per turn, after a melee strike targets a character in your front rank, if it is the first turn, redirect the strike to a character adjacent to the target. If the new target is a Paladin, he gains plus two attack and plus two AC. So you can already see there's some synergy here with Lady, uh, Lady Helen, Helene, 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 Lady H, sweet Lady H, what you got? Uh, Dev Paladin. So that's what she got. So if you do, let's go back to the search. So if you do go with the Acolyte, that'll trigger that. That'll give the plus two attack. That'll be enough to put that one over the plus five limit with Madriga's ability. Still not enough to kind of get there unless you have two of them. Then you react and both react, turn on that one Lady Helene and then make her a 20 AC truck even if you don't draw it so this is also a really good option or it's acolyte door so we do have multiple options here and it would be two of these and it's all on daybreak it's all on turn one and that's really what this deck is doing so that could be an option to go with right there unless they're gonna have some kind of rain strike in so if you're gonna go against nothrogs you might see a temple bam coming at acolyte which would be sad times uh the fact that it triggers off a melee strike is also 
a little rough. It's not a melee strike or range strike. So if they're shooting you from the second rank, then that also doesn't trigger and then it becomes a waste. So you have some options there. Maximilian Sterling, thank you for the sub. Woody, gifting that out. Really appreciate the support, guys. Um, so yeah, so this is the, the, you know, the first kind of decision. Do you go Acolyte Chaston or do you go Acolyte Dora? Um, so, in, you know, you can kind of see the synergies and just how you kind of want to plan it out. Uh, the best thing about these two options is neither of them spend for their ability. So first thing that comes to mind whenever you see a level two cleric in Epic Edition is there's the spell Reflect, which will also help in terms of keeping Lady Helene... Uh, Lady, Sweet Lady H, sorry, we're calling her Sweet Lady H from now on. Keeping that Sweet Lady H alive and trucking forward, Reflect also does some offensive ability. So whichever level two cleric we spend is going to probably be the one casting that, unless it's Madriga who also wants to do that. But four skill and four skill, they're both really good in that option there. Um, so it's a tough choice. Uh, I think to start, just for a rough draft aspect, I know Acolyte Door has kind of had the track record, so I'll kind of just see how it runs there. Uh, but testing out some games with Acolyte Chaston is also a good option. So let's slot in some doors for now. Uh, just taking a look at some other ones. Adina is not going to really do anything. I'm not rolling initiative. Oh, well, except for, you know, every turn. Uh, Alexa, I don't really need... Um, Save the plus one. Once per turn, remove a spell. Yeah, the spells aren't going to really be in my discard right away unless I'm just drawing them and going. Remove a spell from your discard from the game. So this, you know, just taking a look at Elena the Fervent, just thinking out loud, uh, could remove the Incite Courage from my discard pile later on if I want to give my guys that AC back. Because that's the drawback of running this card. While in the discard pile, minus two AC. But probably won't care if we're backed by clerics because we'll have a lot of healing. Um, Acolyte Door is plus one level for casting Plot Hook, though. Watch out now. <laughs> now we got. Now we're really digging deep into some stretches here because I'm looking at uh, this fervent lady over here. Uh, but even then, target character within two ranks will make a magic save DC 15 or be unable to perform actions. Like, that's not really worth it. Um, unless I'm expecting a front rank fighter with zero skill, at which point I think I'm fine either way. Front rank fighter are gonna come up, they're gonna get weedy rushed essentially. Um, Baldwin, after it performs a melee strike, a range strike. The tar yeah, nah, don't really need that. Cal of the Shifter is pretty cool. Um, Ged Bodman, no, nope, they does stuff in hand. Initial paralysis is not but yeah, so there's Kent Aurelian. I'm not making critical failures. So yeah, this is a, this is a really level two. Is this a higher level Deverian with Sister Nagaria? Nah, it's not really worth it. Um, yeah, so this is it for kind of level two. So I think we have our starter here. It's either Acolyte Dora or Acolyte Chaston. So we'll stick with Dora. So we already got that. And now we have that. Uh, one of the reasons that we talk ourselves into Dora was for Reflect, right? So... That's going in. Oh, wait. That's the filters. You got to turn those off. Not searching for a Deverian action name Reflect. We're just looking for a Reflect in Epic Edition. God, this card is so good. <laughs> um, I expect you'll see a lot of that in this event. Uh, so Reflect. After target character inflicts wounds on one of your characters. DC 19 with our Acolyte Dora. And make them roll two on the Reflect. Oh, this is good. I'm liking this. See, so this is an idea that's starting to come together. Definitely going to run three of that. So it's healing to protect Sweet Lady H and offense. I like it. Um, so other options. Now, normally, again, I would start building out characters. Um, but we're kind of living or dying on turn one. Um, so we also got to make sure, like, who are we kind of going against uh, for others? Um, you know, there's, you know, I don't know if anyone's going to go brother or spend some lap, Spencer Latham, or they're going to go Lear Militia for freaks. So they're rushing there. Brian Fiends are probably going to be the Merc choice or, you know, Amadasi's Candle and some shenanigans like that. Nothar's got Gunda, which is two HP, but, um, you know, yeah, they would swing it. I mean, if they, if our Gundas are swinging at Lady Helena right off, right off, sweet Lady H, excuse me, 
right off the bat. Like, I guess that's a pretty fair trade. Um, so yeah, I, th I think, you know, we're pretty good in terms of focusing on just the first turn, but then we also kind of need a backup. So, okay, if we're not going to have lift up your voices and we're not going to draw reflect, what's the next best thing? Um, for clerics, I'm probably like, we need some kind of healing. So seize life comes to mind first. Um, I think I'm going to put that in there just because I had that in mind. Oh, I spelled C's wrong. I before E, not in this case. What? You know what? Let's just put life. How about that? C's life. Ah, oh, it's not E. It's, a, it's present tense. It happens not in the past tense. There we go. All righty. Let's get this bad boy in here too. I think we want times three of that just to soup up and prevent all, like, you know, save all of them. And then that way, if we have an insight courage, maybe we'll play some other kind of buffs too to offset it because we'll already have three, just something to give everybody else one attack. Um, so we'll have a few options here. Um, see you guys already kind of throwing out a few suggestions. Oh, yeah. Uh, ooh, a lot of good ones. All right, I'm going to jump right to one that I also had in mind too. Another one from Yuba Crew Smash over here. Uh, Vaujin. I forgot how to pronounce the name. Just basically, it is Brother Domini if he was actually balanced, <laughs> is what this guy is. So this is a suggestion you guys to throw it out there. I'll show you guys. So level one paladin also. So we still got a paladin theme going here. Stats aren't anything to write home about except for Nightfall. If it is not the first turn, other evil Devarinians in this rank have plus three plus three. So again, it is, you know. That is very balanced, uh, Brother Domini. It's not giving himself the bonus. It's happening on second turn, so it's a little slow. And we are kind of living on turn one right now. Like, that's kind of where this... So this guy's kind of someone we want to draw and kind of help us. You know, most of the time, you're not going to kill the opposing Warlord turn one. But you're definitely going to kind of, you know, put your foot on their neck is what you want to do with this Madriga deck. So... This guy could really help close that out and kind of fuel those Lady H's later on since you won't have uh, what's in her faces, uh, Madriga's bonus, unless we also play cards that make it turn one. I think there's that Baskerin's Bastion or whatever it is, that dungeon. So that could be an option as well. Uh, but this guy stacks. That is really good. <laughs> you could have three of him in turn in the front rank and it's just everybody's huge. <laughs> I love it. So in goes this guy. All right. So we know we want to do that. Um, take a look at some other options. Acts of Faith cut the... Cut through... Oh, Acts of Faith cut through a lot of those. Yep, that's true. So Acts of Faith is something we want to consider. Um, anointed by the Storm is a thought. So you know what? Here, I, I think what I'll do is I'll kind of go through the next step of what I want to do. Um, and that's before we start going into cleric actions and everything that let's look at the characters we want to do. So at this point, we know what we're kind of streaming for is like, you know, a, a rush. Deck. It's going to be a blitz deck. Turn one, swing, 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 swing. So we kind of want to see what devs we can put into play that, you know, are going to impact the board turn one. Or, you know, if, if it is going to be a high level dev it's got to be somebody who's absolutely worth it for their ability but uh let's take a look at this so i, I don't think i want to look at the big guys so i think i'm just gonna look at level threes or lower i don't think we necessarily want to run a level four like cardinal broman maybe just to kind of turn on ladies so yeah okay so maybe there might be some fours um all right let's start off with threes so, yeah. Oh, that's great. We know we're not running fives. How about that? Um, so let's take a look. So now we pull up in alphabetical order our possible options. Some of these, these level twos, are going to look very familiar. Um, we also could theoretically, sometimes what I'll also do is I'll literally go level by level. Start level one, go to level two, go to level three. And that way you can kind of build out the balance of how many you want for each. Because that's uh, an actual decision that you do make in Warlord. 
uh, how many level fours and then how many level threes in case if your warlord gonna is your warlord gonna move up to rank two if so then that three slots not there so then you need to play more threes uh madriga should always be spent in the third rank ideally uh and that'll affect some of the items we actually play with her uh if we go going that route so that's also another thought uh but let's start with characters um no yeah i'm gonna do it that way let's start let's see, we'll go one by one uh so other characters that we might want to play so acolyte miroslav Ford suffers one wound. For one. Yeah, we don't. We do have a storm wraith, but it's a spend react, so not putting offense on, so we don't really need it. Apprentice Rama, we're not playing wizards, so otherwise, if it, if it just said spell, then absolutely, but it doesn't. Apprentice Trist, this looks like an interesting option. So it has defend, and then if we have lift up your voices, it's even better. And after he redirects, he levels up. This could be an option. So it might be one of those ones where I kind of cut it. So if we need to get to 25 characters, this could be, I can see someone who's like in the slots, like 28 or 31. So like just out. When it comes to things like this, I'll just add one to the deck list for now, just so I remember that it's like, okay, there could be potential here. And then we go for it. Uh, Diligent Keeper for those same reasons could also be added just because he's just a generally good card and a Paladin. So if we do have any kind of Level one Paladin tech we can always look at, worth playing. Might be more to fuel there. Gene Cornish, it's good, but I don't think we necessarily need him. Uh, get Brem. Once per turn, target character. They one rank, must succeed with a beer save. Them spent. This isn't bad. Um, definitely can slow down. Just a free order can kind of help with the tempo. It's planner, so it's not going to get the drawback of Inside Courage, but it's also not going to necessarily get the AC bonus from Lift Up Your Voices. It kind of cuts out a few of those die rolls, but not substantially. Um, I think this is still worthy of consideration, so let's just add one of those. Uh, get Carol, not bad. Could be an option, but nah, I think we can cut it. Again, Neri seems like a good one. I think for sure I kind of want to do that. That's another protection for a lady if I don't draw any healing. So let's do that. Keandra. After Keandra targets, or is targeted by a melee striker action, is it target opposing character within two rank? So she steals the stats of somebody for the duration of the action. That's cool, but. So it steals the target's attack. If they have multiple attacks, like if it's Spencer Latham, am I getting multiple strikes? Um, is there any kind of ruling on that one? No. Because I think if, it, if it's just, it has the target's attack, I don't know if that refers to just, if that person's attack is just plus five, as you know, like let's say Madriga's. Madriga's is plus five. Technically she's plus five plus zero. Um, then nah. Because of that ruling, I don't know how that'll work. We'll just skip that. Jason, higher level devs. We won't have higher level devs in the front rank, so we don't need it. He's got a daybreak ability, so it's before he dies, stun a character within one rank. It's not, he has plus two attack for each spell. Uh, we are the only one in here. How do you use this thing? <laughs> what up, Duke? How you doing, bud? Uh, let's see. Sarcolia, Gene Court, plus three attack while there are any wizards in this rank, plus two if they're rogues, plus five if there are any clerics in this rank. Um, this guy gets pretty cool when you get Gendurian. It's a 16 AC dude uh, and a guy. And if we just, we don't have really wizards. Um, could be a thing though. Mark Pool art. Yeah, how about that? There you go. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. I got a signed Mark Pool print over in the corner up here for Birds of Paradise, right above my kitchen. Uh, so shout out to him. Let's see. Uh, Tannis gains planner if I win initiative. I'm not going to really focus on initiative, though, so no. Oh, I am skipping a few here. 
I mean, it's good. It's a good fighter, so we don't want to do that with Let's Up Your Voices. So this guy probably gets cut. Uh, plus two at order. Has plus two attack. Plus three if you want initiative this turn. Till the end of the turn. You may use this equal to the number of times. Number of times per turn equal to the highest character level in this rank. So if it's just one. Yeah, his own level counts. So he would just be a guy. I'm not really too sold on him. Uh, plus 18 had Joden. That's true. Um, and then Big Daddy V over here, we already got him. Um, so, okay, so I think that's it for ones. So let's take a look at twos real quick. So, oh, wait, we already looked at twos. Uh, and nobody really worth it. So, let's look at threes. Uh, abd, melee strike, redirect. Yeah, it's a spin react, that's not worth it. Alistair, we're not playing MLG, so no. Pays a close to the action. If the action gives a bonus or penalty, increase the bonus or penalty by three. This guy's good, though, so like a, as a good alignment, so that's kind of a drawback. I like that he has two HP. Um, no Calib. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily know if we need that. Uh, if... The ultimate dream is to kind of have three Lady H, sweet Lady H out there. Then, um, you know, we don't really need Cal like to drop Caleb. Uh, let's see. Cardinal Durand. Clean the turn. All melee strikes are critical failures if the target has a higher level. Yeah, so no, we don't want that because that's going to affect our little weenie rush. We're not going to play Steed, so Charlotte stays home. Dame Olivia. Range strikes a plus two bonus for each spell in your discard pile. Remove a spell. You have a plus two range strike. Two HP, a wizard. This could be an option. Uh, that way she removes the incite courage and she's triggering off of just spells. So that could be a really cool thing. Um, I think that's worth just, let's add the one for reference and we'll work on it later. Danielle, discard a card to give someone plus three attack, and that's a could turn on one short of turning on Lady Helene. If it is not the first turn target character within two ranks, gives minus for each. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Um, doesn't I don't think it fits the theme, so I don't think we necessarily need to look at that yet. Um, yeah, no, don't really need this guy either. Kermes. Why do you sound very familiar? For range drag with a bonus equal to his level. So he just has an order plus three. After he performs an order, discard a card. Choose an opposing player. You and that player make an initiative roll. If you win, you may perform another order. Um, I don't like the ability, the idea of just discarding a card just to get this, so... I think we can kind of skip him. So why we'll skip him as opposed to skipping Dame Olivia. Olivia gives us that synergy of removing inside courage after we play it. So there's at least some reasoning behind there. Uh, Layla would stop melee strikes, but I still think range strikes are very popular. Um, less than Drac, after melee strike is redirected. Yeah, I'm not going to be doing much. I'm redirecting to him, so now Malcolm gets plus four attack to the end of the turn. Choose an opposing player. You each make an initial roll. So he just boosts himself. Not bad stats, but yeah, no, he's not really going to fit the bill. Mina, click on your hand. You may perform an order. Oh, she has to cast a spell. Yeah, no, we're not casting wizard spells, so no. Pre-wit, after one of your other Deveronians casts a spell, character which is adjacent to the target. So it's the target of the spell, so I ain't going to be DC checking my own guys. So no, because I'm going to be casting them. area effects and stuff like that. So no. Definitely not going to Uber up this guy, so I have to know. Argon the Undying. Here we go. So I didn't really cover too many of these uh, epic heroes that play with your starting army here. I don't think we'd play this guy as a starting army because we really would rather have um, 
have acolyte doors re reflect. That's what, kind of where we're going. So this guy doesn't really fit the bill. Uh, he is a good card in general, though. But kill a Devernian and ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I remember. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> this guy got errated to uh, have an order. For a split second there, I read that. And I'm like, wait a minute. That doesn't say once per turn. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Luckily, somebody else noticed that uh, about 14 years ago and fixed it <laughs> before it became a problem. Uh, let's see. Sir Gautier. Well, he has. Uh, he gains a whole bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, but what he gains doesn't really help me because he could be lifted up your voice. He His voice could be lifted up, but I don't think it'll be good. This guy's really a level four. Nah. Pounds is fine. Kind of, yeah, he's not going to do anything. Wait, I think I skipped somebody. Oop. Sir Williams. I think this is supposed to be Dave Williams. Kind of looks like Dave Williams. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what this was supposed to be. Uh, the runner of Master K. Never even realized that. So you have to roll initiative if you want until the end of the turn. Gains a fighter class. That's pretty cool. If you lost, becomes a wizard. I mean, that's just a cool card. <laughs> um, but we can skip it. Sir Arrain, put a number of Dorians into your hand to give target Dorian. Yeah, this is pretty good. But, you know, it's not going to help me turn one, which I really want to help, because then you have to play her and then spend order and play some characters. And I've already taken two decrees to boost a Lady Helena. Probably means I lose. Uh, so, nope. Plus one HP and attack. What is a weapon equip? We're not going to play weapons. So, nope on Khan. Paltos. Any number of item cards and playing. No, oh, this guy was pretty good. I remember him. Three HP, like that. Uh, he does enter play as level four, though. I don't think we need him. Zaros is technically potentially a level one character uh, with two attack. So I don't think we'll need this guy though. Um, yeah, no. Okay, so those are threes. So far, we think we're kind of seeing where most of this is going. Let's just see if there's any fours worthwhile. Um, I know Cardinal Broman was kind of thrown out there. So there, there's the Cardinal. Turns on a, a Lady Helene right off the bat and is a backup canter for additional, if I have multiple spend orders. So I like adding Broman here. Let's try that out. And if it gets too bad, because like, you know, we didn't, if we had overwhelming amount of level ones, like, oh, what I wouldn't kill for Squire Ar Arrogant and Epic Edition, uh, like things like that, then I'd have them in here. But otherwise, no. Wow. I forgot how many good level four devs there are. Corndrac, Duke Blackthorn, Ged Dawson. Oh man, Alaron. Sir Alaron is a deck we should, that somebody should be building. Um, a lot of good devs. Get slow now. Gregory the Spineless. Um, I don't think we'll need that guy. Hendrick the Mirage, no. Caden does nothing. Master Edric, nah. Mistress Bridget. We can play Raymond a draw just because we're saying that we're playing it. Um, that's like, oh, here we go. Here's a hundred dollar card into our deck. Why not? It's digital. This guy has three HP. Wow. God, yeah. Someone build Alron. Like, guys, stop listening. Stop watching me play. Build Madriga. Build a better deck. Build Sir Alron. Um, Jeffrey Drac. Uh, let's see. I build that Alaron deck, then I draw items. Whoop. <laughs> That's not good. On paper, it should be good. But <laughs> if you're going to draw no characters, then yeah, you're, you're done. So. Uh, Jeffrey Drac will probably never get to the front rank ready. It not really matter. Um, but Madrigue is better than Alaron. Oh, that's a bold, bold statement there. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Um... Could put dude Sir Jeffrey Drac, and then like if I have some kind of stun tech with clerics. Uh, so theoretically, if we want to, we could go a little mid range here. 
Um, we, we, that's what we could do too. Uh, just thinking out loud right now. If we really want to just kind of go all in on this front, you know, on this turn one, just powering Lady Helene and then have it backed by beefy devs, we could do that. Uh, and then that would mean cutting like Apprentice Triss, Dilchan Keeper, Get Brem. So that could be an option. And then maybe probably use like Staff of Kazazi and a few other things to just ready these characters or even unstun them. Um, so I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look. That could be an option right now. So that's what I'm kind of seeing. Um, so let's jump to the cleric stuff right now. Leave this at kind of as is. Let's see what kind of cleric stuff is cooking. Because then I might do that. Could always go a mid-range Madriga, if you will. Uh, just as a backup plan. Uh, do, 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 do. What do we want? We want type action. Let's go cleric actions. And we, of course, you do want to look at classless. I think there is there's one. If I go the weenie... Blitz root. I can always just go Stolen Destiny, just because I love that card. Stolen Destiny would act like Dora. Yo, I'll do that all day. <laughs> that's pretty good. Thrill of Victory. Yeah, that's a good. That's also another good uh, classless action right there. So we could do that. If it, so, then yeah, that might put the. I could probably still do that with the mid range version too. Um, you know, just have these lady, sweet lady H's going nuts. Uh, so we can build around that. Uh, but let's look at cleric stuff. Let's look at cleric actions right now. And then let's see what other kind of inspiration we get. So Act of Faith is one I saw you guys throwing out there. Targets melee strikes, inflict additional wound to the end of turn. That could be really good. Um, against two HP starters, you kind of want that. Um, let's see. Um, all right, so... Let's keep this in as one, just in case. Aid does not help devs, so we don't need it. Anointed by the Storm, that was another one you guys threw out there. Target character is plus one HP. On the next order, skip that and give the target a bonus equal to this cleric's level. So that can also turn on till the end of the turn. So you play that. There, you know, you give the extra HP so it's not two strikes to try and kill it. Uh, this ain't bad. Yeah, this is worth consideration. If we're building around Lady Helene. Um, or Devotion. It has the word Cantor in it, so that's usually good. Target a character. The next time the target suffers wounds this turn, reduce the wounds to zero. Oh, it's a spend order, not a spend react. Uh, if this character is a Cantor, the target gains plus three, plus three. This could be a first action if if we weren't going act like door. Act like door is a seer, I believe, right? Yeah. The other one is a canter though. So like what Yuba was recommending before. Um armor could be good. Yeah, that's I think for now we'll skip it, but we'll just keep that in the back of my mind. Just because it's a little slow as a spend order. A tone, I don't need to be sitting in rank. Two, which I don't plan on doing. Awake to nature, I don't need. Beg forgiveness. Blessing of swiftness. <laughs> Give that lady another strike. That's getting greedy. Uh, could be an option. Let's just, let's just throw it in there. Line of gods. Um, this deck kind of wants to play with a hand, though. Yeah. This card is so good. I guess I don't necessarily have to play it. Um... But yeah, that's tough. Let's just throw it on there as a possibility. Uh, Bright Blessing adds to die rolls. We don't need that. I'm not big enough for calling the storm. Cast Ascender. Nope. I want oh, my guys to sideways to murder somebody. Calm. No. Cheat Death. Yes. Let's get that in there. Cheat Death will be the option to kind of get rid of that. So then that's putting wounds on Lady Madriga. We're not Lady Madriga, just Madriga. She's not a lady. Uh, putting it on Madriga while we're trying to save Lady H. Um, no, I'm thinking like Asper. Asper is that Merc familiar that lets you ready some guys. So I don't know if the devs have an option like that. 
but uh because we're gonna be putting wounds on them chosen um i don't have the ability to change alignments so it's kind of rough or if i was good never anyone is trashy good to know uh command horror is another spend order i don't think let's see if this character is not Deverinian, each target must make a so wait, target all characters in an opposing front rank. Each target has minus five, minus five. If this character is not a Deverinian, each target may perform. Oh, okay, so for devs, it's just an auto fail. To command horror. That's okay, but I'd rather be spending for lift up your voices. So I don't want to draw that turn one. So I think we can skip it. Courage from faith. If we are going to go that mid range option, that's good. That's essentially our movement. Um. Tifalid, no. Call Serious, no. Divine Fury. There is some things, but probably no, because I don't want any of my characters dying. Elemental Madness. That's just like a big kaboom spell, but I don't think I need that. What is this? Embrace the Aspen Order? Discard X cards. Target X characters within two. Yeah, I'm not going to be within two ranks, so no. Final Blessing, absolutely. Uh, for the fallen, yeah, no, I don't want dead characters. I'm not a seer. Fulfilled destiny is reactive healing, so maybe. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. holy energy, ready target spent character within one rank. Oh, that's a lot of restrictions. Yeah, that's garbage. That's hot garbage. Um, holy infusion before it becomes stunned is spent instead. Holy Might, target a character in play, they get bigger. So that could be a thing. Insight we already have. Course Patience could be an option, but we kind of want them dead instead of stunned. So no. Lift we already got. Lightning Strikes, no. Luminous Cure, Guile. Uh, mentorship. Target a character in your army who has gained no permanent bonuses and remove Mentorship from the game. Target permanently becomes a brick shit house and if i'm a canter they swing even more this is absolutely worth considering we get a little we're getting a little risky with a little number of spend orders here uh mentorship and contest i title and benedictus armor is your mid-range version Ooh, benedictus armor that's a that's a pretty cool call i like that um once i get through that i'll, I'll jump up to benedictus armor so and contest, yeah, the devs get plus five to the roll. I can roll twice with Acolyte Dora. Something I actually, the guys I like, Jen Collier. Uh, yeah, Jen Collier in, um, in uh, Discord was talking about that, how it never works out for her. So, uh, and I was just, just Acolyte Dora. Even if you roll bad, you can make your opponent try to roll, have to roll good twice. Um, but, so we could do that. Um, ch -ch -ch. Paralysis Ward seems good. Up to two if it's not the first turn. We have five more characters in this card. Move each target back one rank. This is okay. <laughs> um, pretty good control spell. Uh, we kind of want people to die. It's like me at the end. You forget all the games it wins you. Remember the time that it draws your opponents to one card they need to win. Eh, it's kind of like that. Um, some power of the ancients. Forms an order. And this character forms an action that rated character character can form. Yeah, now that's bad. Prolong the fight. If we were dwarves, yes, but we are not dwarves. Quick strength. It's like this is before a melee strike roll. Gives a bonus to attack. So quick strength turns on, lady. Um, so that could be worth considering. Probably going to get cut. But let's just add it in there. Retribution. If your character wounds one of your characters the same alignment as this, make a DC plus a wounded character or suffer wound if this caster is evil or becomes stunned. So we are evil. So retribution could just be wounding them back. That could be aggressive. Uh, I like that. It would be with Lady H, it's DC 14. So it's just react almost ball lightning you. 
which is pretty cool. Sacrificial bond, no. Saving grace is an option with Carnal Broman, but probably not. Scourge is worth considering. Just reactive healing and moving other wounds around. And it's level four, so Broman can do it. Secrets of the Storm, no. Seize life already in there. Shared fate. So many rogues, we don't have rogues. Soothing aura, we're not playing an army of clerics, so no. Sustaining aura. Target is spent, but not stunned. Lower level. Nope. Don't like that. If this character is a canter. Alright, so hold on, maybe we do like this. Ready target lower level st unstunned character. If this character is a canter, they get really friggin' huge. Ah, uh, if this was level two, that'd be broken. Uh, target spent, but not stunned. Lower level character. Wait, when, what's the errata? Spend order target. Oh, it's just ready target. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's just cleaning up the word. Um, This ain't bad. I think it's worth considering if we have Broman and we're mid-range. Because then you can use that first turn on Lady H. Tempted by the wind. It's item destruction. Hey, I heard someone said Val Passing is really good. I like that. Whirlwind is it's just stupid. TT15 or stun roll two. First turn, stun your warlord. That's actually kind of stupid. <laughs> I don't know if it's good, but it's stupid. Let's consider it. <laughs> okay. So. That's that. Let's go to cleric. Uh, well, we're still on cleric. So let's look at items. Because let's main, like I'm gonna mainly focus on the main class right now, which is cleric. Um, so let's take a look there, and then um, then we'll look at class lists, and then we'll also look at some other stuff here. But um, see, and this is why like sometimes building a deck can take a while. Um, I'm already an hour in, and I don't really have a full deck together yet we've got some ideas we're mostly through at least getting stuff on paper uh so canters can do this it's in order to get bigger man now if it was fours yes but no move one no atlas no play the tokens we're not we don't need to go you may target characters you don't control with this ability. So you could turn people astral. Yeah, no, don't need to do that. Don't need to shuffle that. Or search for an item in your discard pile. Yeah, no, we're not, we're not, we don't need Nodwick. We don't need Celestial Play. We don't need Churgery Kit. I mean, we could do Churgery Kit, but don't think we need it. Orange board, no. What does the orcs let's do? Remove a wound from an opposing character, no. Um, Dallin, Dallin's eye. Again, gives plus two skill. And uh, Brick, okay, yeah, Whirlwind is good against Shaden now. Alder and Brickta. Paralysis Ward is there, too. Uh, give you some breathing room. Yeah, we, we looked at Paralysis Ward, but <laughs> I think we've talked ourselves into Whirlwind. Just be, that's just an ultimate dick move. Just like, eat it. DC 15. This this card, that card says, if my opponent is Rolo, YOLO. That's what that means. He knows what that means. Uh, dedication. Your characters within one rank have plus, ah, oh, boo. Where do you walk? Oh, it goes blood beneath you. Oh, it's level nine anyway. Never mind, too big. Uh, the mantle can start getting those Lady H's back. Um, I don't care that I'm not an elf. Let's just throw it in there just for now. Figuring of protection is an extra cleric, which is always nice, but eh, probably won't use that. That'll probably get cut. We are neither of these three factions, so no. I am not, I am not level seven, so no on fire of the gods. Don't need to get high level. No. 
Once per turn, after a range strike targets a character, gain two AC. Nah. Hammer of Stone. What? Ah, no, we don't need that either. The Nea set could give the extra woundage. What else is in the Nea set? I don't even remember. We'll see if there's anything worth it. Hazium. Move spent characters. Healing potion. Tidal Mace is pretty good. Tidal Mace is a spend order. For um, to just hurt their warlord and to boost Lady H, this could be worth it. Especially if we're going to be sitting in the back once we run out of spells, and if not, it's plus one plus one. Callistone, name a non-faction trait. Target all characters in play with that trait. Get yeah, minus three minus three. If you gave them all plus three plus three, that'd be really good with paladins. Um, but no. Litany is a is a rude card. It's a very rude card. Um, but I don't think we necessarily need it. Here is Nace Armor. For the character performs an action, any bonuses to increase by the number this cleric has equipped. I mean, as by itself, it's not good, but if I draw that first turn, that's the plus one. That I need for her order to give it. So we could go Naeus uh, craziness. Forms an action that stuns an opposing character. Spend Naeus, unstun a character with level equal to or less than. So I unstun stuff. Yeah, I probably won't do that. Perseverance. No peace. Oh, it's, yeah, that's shutting people off. I remember that card being good, but I don't think it's necessarily what we want to do. Gives that that. Shadow Sloth. To unstun. Oh, if I put Shadow of... If I put Shadow of Sloth on after I whirlwind them, they just sit there and lose. That's pretty cool. Shadow of the Meek. Helps out little guys, but it's a little slow. Shield, don't need. Spirit's Blessing, we are not a druid. Staff of Kazazi, absolutely. We'll probably end up running two of that. Um, symbol of Unity. Spend Once per turn, spend a cleric in your army and name a subclass. Tell the turn characters in your army with that subclass get plus two, plus two for each faith set. Oh, hello. This could be good. Going paladins. Just gotta remember what all the other face set is. Uh, so we'll look that up in a sec, but I like that. Could be something cool. Here's another face set. Once per turn, spend a cleric in your army, search your deck for a face set item, and put it in your hand. That's really good. Um, spend a cleric in your army, this character may use face set items an additional time this turn. Hmm. Maybe the face set, there's something here. All right, what is this? Oh, it's unique. Okay. Yeah, that's, a, that, that, that's probably right. <laughs> Hold this mantle, but not big enough. The storm, if I want to kill all my level ones, that would suck. Woo! I'm moving my camera around, guys. That's the ranger lycanthrope combo with Beastmaster. There we go. Um, true word. Gonna be adjacent to people. Man, nah. Okay. What's the other face set stuff? So the symbol of unity, the arc. What's the other faith stuff? Ruby of selection. Oh, that's the one that just gives subclasses. That one's kind of stupid. Um, any other faith ones really worth playing? I don't think so. Warrock set, Warrock set. Yeah, so simple unity could be something. 
give your army plus eight plus eight. Who doesn't love a Medusant War Gear on their army? Let's see, so that's a Ranger Lycanthrope combo with Beastmaster just to give that everybody up. Okay. So let's look at Te Tex Consane's Faith. Armor of Faith. Hey, you get in here too. You're not a Faith set though. Womp womp. All right, so it's just basically these two. So it's spending a cleric to search for this. I love that it's order spend as part of the cost. So that's really cool. Um, it is a little slow for Madriga based off of what we want to do. We're already doing the order to kind of do that. You can spend a random cleric in your army, so it's nice. Yeah. Let's add it just in case. And let's add this. And I don't think we need this. I don't think we need the Ruby Staff. What do you guys think? Um... Hey, as someone new to any online tools for Oiler, can you mention what you're using? Yes, thank you, Woodrow. Uh, we are using the Accordlands.com. Uh, it is a functional database uh, that has the build deck option here. Uh, so I'm starting to build up this deck here. Eventually, I'm going to save it as a text option, and then we're going to import it into Untap. That's the uh, the program that we have to play. Um, so you're able to kind of just paste a deck and text version. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. Uh, and you should play online with us, dude. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you'd be heavy paladin to use that. You need to be heavy paladin to use that. Yeah. I mean, we're kind of leaning that way actually. Um, so it's worth considering, but we'll see. It probably gets cut for just more general down the line, but I have it in here just in case. Okay. Go away. Let's go to class lists. We are not faith. Uh, let's go to actions. All right, so last run through here. Not a lycanthrope, so no. Thing of falls. If characters in your army have used the cleric, <laughs> no, I won't do that. If Kazazi is a weapon, I think staff, I think it's a staff. I think it's a shield. Yeah, it's a shield. We don't go offensive with this. We just defend things. Ah, uh, blood oath. We don't need bribe. Check for traps. Crunchy presents. None of these. Dragon's fury. Spin Madriga to the front rank. There we go. Hire the storm for when I die. I like the sounds of that deck. Flank them to gain attack bonus. Uh, or has plus five attack. Your choice. And that's only for the strike, so it won't turn on. Um, Forge and Battle will not need. Invoke Doom. After a player rolls a die that was not preset, that player's next die roll is considered that. Oh, this could be dirty. That could be real dirty. Let's throw it in there. If, if we have the slots. Uh, leveled. We want to go all around Lady H. Could be a thing. Wasteland Heritage. All these Medusa launch stuff we won't need. Metamorphosis, no. Naked as a babe. Uh, just to give the strike. But it's only for the strike, so. Pardon. Can't throw a melee sugar. Target this storm right. Kill another can. This one can't. Nah, yeah, that's not worth it. Plus one level for plot hook. There we go. We want to look at dungeons. Let's see, Rain of Fire, Rally, we're not freaks. Rally's a good one though. Rescue is always a kind of an option there, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. I'm just going all in anyway. Um, Shadow Balls now, oh yes, please, Stolen Destiny. Always worth considering. Thrill of Victory. I killed an equal or higher level and this ready. Yeah, so with Lady H, that's absolutely worth considering. Two to pain. 
Not to the death, it is to the pain. Thanks for the sub, Alex. Appreciate it. Oh, it's a prime sub, my man. Um, let's see. Kill this character. Kill a target. non warlord character within three ranks. Has no items. To the pain with Acolyte Dora. There we go. Um, Torment. Oh, here we go. Ghoul Tim. Oh, look at all these. Oh, he's, Alex, you're gifting out subs. I appreciate the support, man. There we go. Thank you guys who are all subbing. I really appreciate it. Uh, oh, there we go. Sly Fox, look at you subscribing, bud. Uh, get taken up one of the subs. Let's see, we got the Fada, Innocent Wrath, you're up in here too. Thank you guys. Uh, Wraith Immoral Immortalis. That's a, wow, that's a male name. Thanks for this sub, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see. Unfeeling flesh, tracking, toughness. Yeah, no, I don't think we want any of these. We don't need well supply. Okie dokie. Let's look at classless items. Why not? What do we want? Do we want to go look at dungeons or do we want to just forget that dungeons exist? Because, you know, they're dungeons. If we want to with, get the daybreak going with Madriga. There's a dungeon that's it's the first turn. So maybe that could be worth it. Or the Shattered Spire. Um, so yeah, maybe dungeons are worth it too. Um, what's wrong with dungeons? I just don't, I, I don't like the concept of them. That's all it really is. And um, nothing more than that. They're actually perfectly fine. Um, just a personal preference. Uh, let's look at classless stuff. Bag of treasure. Benedictus Armor. I spend a level three or greater cleric to equip it. Um, once per turn, spend a level five or greater cleric in your army. Ready this. That's pretty good. Sounds pretty good. So could you go the mid range option? Bounty, camel, no. Dagger, start throwing things and getting. Rain strikes. I like that. Uh, they kind of dismantle your appearing again. What are you doing? Uh, epic mantle. Don't need that. Helmadigin. I'm not going to say gin. It's just digin. Ice talon for those Madriga rain strikes. Inflicting additional wounds. Let's go. Uh, limited wish. Sorry. Not allowed. Nodwick. Don't need you. Dragons are not in my deck, so no. Spin, let's see. Ritual Circle. Once per turn, spend and stun. Just gets Anathium. Anathema? Anathema set? I don't even remember what's in that. Um, Symbiote. Oh, here's the dev one. Enter when you never is a target by melee trigger action. Remove two charges. Redirect the striker action to adjacent character. It gains charges as people die. I don't plan on having my characters die. Naturally, of course, the golden rule is always expect your characters to die because they're going to die. Uh, especially at Epic. Things get a little crazy here. But yeah, I don't think this... Ooh, yes, Guard's Rage. Ooh, Lycanthrope Dex. Beastmaster is looking a lot better. Um, Zenith, we don't need. Okay, I think we're in a good spot now. Um, so now it's kind of to the point in deck building where it's like I kind of look at everything I have. I have a lot of one ofs, obviously, just as reference. So, but if you're going to go like 25, let's say there's 25 slots, uh, that means, and you want to run three ofs just because if. A card is usually good enough for your deck. You usually kind of want three of it. Sometimes you might want a 2x of it, and then that's kind of how you run two slots that are 2x. So then if you your number you want to hit is 25, those two two of slots will put you down to 21, and then you run seven cards at times three, uh, nine cards total. Uh, you can kind of look at kind of building a very consistent deck that way. Um, and I think we have enough to kind of do that for actions and items thing is with, like with characters so if we go lady we go this guy up 
if we put all these little guys in with Brahman, um, let's see. Yeah, let's just max out everybody just for reference. Let's say we're going to go weenie rush because we're going to just do goofy things. Uh, and Dame being our level three. So you max that out. We get to 27 characters. So only two over, meaning I could probably cut down to just two Dame uh, Olivia's being the one that I don't need the most of. And then we're at 26. And then we just need to kind of cut one more. Um, or I could just end up kind of cutting Dame Olivia's and then finding a one-off slot to kind of go in for that. Um, so it really depends. Or I just run one of this where if I have it and then I start removing those things. Um, I kind of like her though. Uh, she's definitely a two of, I think. Um, just because she's not impactful turn one. All these other people are very impactful turn one. Um, I mean, yeah, let's just try this out. If we draw her and we see like in testing that she actually looks good. See, online works for 52 people. Oh, I'm just, you guys talking about online. Yeah, definitely. Um, this one's, the next one's coming up in four days too for Epic Edition. So I might be a little late building this Madriga deck, but uh, I got a few other options, you know, just waiting for that. But uh, definitely play if you guys want, you know, even if, you know, if you don't, you're going to play and, you know, sometimes you might have a, a rough time just kind of scheduling a game. You got 48 hours for each round to kind of complete one match. If you're going to have trouble with that, it, it's fine. Just it's cool to kind of just take losses and then play for funsies, but just kind of participate in this thing. I always encourage people to kind of do that as well. So it'd be fun to have you guys play it. Uh, so let's see. We got 25 characters. All right, I think we're kind of set here. Uh, and then we, now we just need to kind of get actions and items together. So now we know, so let's just kind of do one overview of the 25 characters we have slotted for now. This is, again, this is just draft one. So not optimized, no idea, just based off of what we were looking and what we want to go. So Lady, yep. Sweet Lady H. I hope you do not let me down. Acolyte D. Big Daddy V. Prentice Trist doesn't get a nickname. Dilshant Keeper. Brem. Nuri. Yeah, so I think this is the fixings of at least a rough draft for characters. Cool. So items, I don't think I need the figurine anymore. Now I can kind of start cutting some things out. Um, and now that the characters are out, we don't we're not that paladin heavy, so we can kind of cut this out. The uh the the faith set. So item-wise, we have the Dithanus mantle. Title Mace and the Staff of Kazazi just sitting there. Uh, the Staff might end up being a 1x. And same thing with the Title Mace. And the, like those each could be a 1x. And then we have 22. And then we can just run uh, a few other X2s depending. Uh, so let's take a look at then the actions. Um, this is really going to be the identity of the deck right here. So we know for sure we want Lift. We know for sure we want Insight. We know we want Reflect. We know we want Seize Life. So I think these are all locked in right here. So that is six. So that's 12 slots out of the 25. And so 13 plus three down there. So then that would leave us with 10. And we already have so many other things. Uh, let's cut Courage and Faith. Let's cut Blind the Gods as much as it hurts me. I need cards in my hands. Uh, Cheat Death is probably going to keep, it's probably going to stay. Um, yeah, just to save. It, it was works on saving Lady H, so we need that. Mentorship. This was level four, I'd absolutely do it. Uh, for just for Cardinal Broman to play it, but let's cut that out. Uh, Retribution is a little cute, but I think we can cut it. Sustaining Aura, we're not going, eh, you know, it could be. I'll keep this in for now. Probably getting cut. Stolen Destiny. I, I will do Stolen Destiny. We got little guys. So we're going to go Stolen Destiny and steal some big guys. Um, Duel of Victory, we'll see. Invoke Doom, I don't think I'm going to have enough. Whirlwind. Yeah, I think we just go times three Whirlwind. Go all in. Final Blessing is pretty good. Cheat Death times three. Let's do that. So I don't think anointed, I think it's a little slow. 
Let's get rid of that. Blessing of Swiftness, I think, is a little slow, too. I'm already going to take so many orders just boosting my guys. Um, yeah, Stolen Destiny is broken, and it is a lot of fun. Just waiting until you guys use it against me, and then I just play it right back and steal my character back out of spite. That's what's up. Um, Final Blessing in these. All, these are all kind of good. Quick Strength. Helps towards our goal of turning on Lady H. So it's worth it. Because right now we have like the six. We have six cards that kind of turn her on to become an absolute beast. I think we want to go nine. Because you figure if you have nine cards out of 44 and you're drawing five, you're probably going to get one. So I think nine is the right number that we need. As much as Quick Strength is not that great of a card in general, um, like it's just a React to just boost your attack is just not going to really yield you a, a good card exchange value. Like, you know, you're losing one card, one of your only five cards that you're going to play, like, and all it does is just make one of your strikes really good. But in this case, it turns on the lady. So I think we'll keep that. Paralysis where we're going to cut. Uh, Scourge works with us, but do we want to draw Scourge and Cheat Death at the same time? Probably not. Staining Order, we're just kind of getting... Eh, maybe. Possibly. Evoke Doom, okay, you get cut. I'm at 31. And three, so we're at 34. So technically nine of these cards kind of have to come off the board. And then probably even more since we're going to go up. Um, Let's get rid of Fulfilled Destiny. Let's get rid of Acts of Faith. Acts of Faith is probably a hard cut. Same, same. Thrill of Victory kind of works with what we want to go for. Yeah, Veiled is here. Veiled might get cut as... Awful as that sounds. That is just so good. Ugh. Dithanus Mantle, do we really care about you? Are you worth keeping around? Chat, what's your thoughts on Dithanus Mantle? Like, if we're kind of building a deck around Sweet Lady H... The ability to recur her is why I kind of have this in here. What do you guys think? I think that's kind of worth it because then any character kind of turns into her later on. So could theoretically be good or is it just kind of like, all right, I've just used it turn one and like that's really it. Um, mantle is sus. There we go. That could also just be a way to do that. If she's that important, then maybe... So here's the thing too, if you're saying maybe, and we need to kind of cut down to our 50 best, if, if it's kind of like a borderline one, it might be like a 52nd card or a 53rd card. So maybe we cut it. Um, this I think we keep. Because that way if anyone's coming up and they, they want to start oppressing me, I can oppress them back and boost my guys. So this one ain't bad. This is a one of, right? Um, so let's assume we, we would play three final blessing if, if we are going to run it we'd probably run two veil passing if we are going to run it um and three we do that okay so then that kind of puts us at 34 so we're still at cutting nine cards um what are we going to do So I think starting with Thrill of Victory, let's cut down there. Final Blessing, you were just so good. But with Cheat, Death, and Reflect, and Seized, I think I have enough. Um, so let's go Final Blessing out. It's like, oh, you hurt my soul. Um, so down to 26, so we're down to 28. So we just need three more to go. And Cheat Death, probably not going to play that time. Yeah, we would. 
because she's removing wounds every turn and making people bigger. So that's nice. I have to cut down Whirlwind. Whirlwind might have to go to a, an X2. Because this is, and see, this is a thing where you get to like one of these, like these fun cards here. Like these, all these cards right here, like the Lift, the Insight, the Reflect Seas, they are all part of the main goal. And then you're trying to add in your little surprise. Like these cards are what most people would expect is going to be in the deck anyway. Uh, maybe even Quick Strength too. I, I guess we can kind of consider that. Quick Strength might catch some people by surprise. Veiled, you probably expect it. But then these are kind of like the little um, the spices that you're kind of like, oh, I didn't really see that coming. Veiled Passing doesn't counter much in EE. Counters Rescue and Beastmaster Reacts, but many, not many people play it. Uh, could stop other healing too. Stops Fatraka's React, which would be really good. Um, but you know what? If we're going all in on attack, Veil Passing doesn't kind of fit towards that goal. Even because even if we're going all in on attack, Whirlwind at least Whirlwind has the like such a high upside of just flat out winning a game. Um. So, but let's see. All right, we cut that out. Like if we if we you know start playing games and see that healing's an issue, then maybe veiled slots in. Ah, uh, but right, okay. So now we are at a staff of Kazazi. So now it comes to the point: is staff of Kazazi even worth it with all these like little guys? Um, so that's probably an expendable card, uh, no matter how good it is, because it's all level ones. Though <laughs> I could start readying characters I steal with stolen destiny. <laughs> so that's an option. I think for now, let's cut this. We'll keep the mace as the only item. And thus, I think we have 50 cards. Yes, we do. Alrighty, so we have a deck. At least a, a, a first version just to kind of test out and see how this goes. Uh, so we'll just do one more run through of it. We got Madriga, Lady H, the star, who, if we lift up your voices, turn one, she's a level 20. I think, again, if we draw lift up your voices, then that's just a win. Um, I don't see us losing if we draw lift up your voices, turn one, and win initiative, like especially. So happy magical Christmas land. It's just kind of like, all right, I'm going to pick up my cards and leave. See you guys later. Uh, Acolyte Dora with Reflect and all that. This guy's just stupid. It's Brother D balanced. Defend to help do things and level up and benefits from Lift Up Your Voices. Just a generally good card. It's going to be weird just playing one, but still, I think it's fine. Uh, get Brem for when people roll really bad. DC 9. Get Neri. How many people wish he could redirect range strikes to? I do. But I'm probably just bringing up some harsh feelings. Mainly strikes or actions. Ah, oh, you 4E people. Boo the designers of 4E. Um, yeah, we got Dame as our little spice here. Ooh. Apparently he's showing this getting nerdy whenever I click it, so there might be a little whoopsie daisy here. There we go. What in God's name? Was it like a blue ferret cat thing that's on Princess Princess Dashkova's arm? Who knows what that is? Ah, uh, and then Cardi B. Gonna drop it. I ain't gonna start dropping Cardi B lyrics just for your all sake. No, well, thank you. Probably get banned from Twitch if I start doing that. Yes, the Cardinal Broman foil scan. Yes, I'll show it just because it's cringe. So those are the characters. The one X item we have is the Ishara's Tidal Mace, uh, as in just something to do for Madrid if it's done to draw a spend order. Lift, uh, the ideal situation. Inside Courage, Plan B. Quick Shrink being Plan C. Reflect, Plan D. 
in terms of healing. Also part of Plan D is seize life and cheat death. Uh, Whirlwind is the, hey, you roll bad, you lose. Olivark is surely better than Olivia, right? And oh, Axe of Faith. Yeah, we cut Axe of Faith just, um, like, if we were to run Axe of Faith, what are we going to take out? Uh, that's the only reason I got rid of the Axe of Faith. Uh, I do like it. Uh, if we were going to be readying characters, I would probably consider it more, but we don't really have that in here. Um, Axe is better with heavy readying, yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess I could go Olive Arc. Because um, I didn't, I actually skipped that. Uh, let's go, let's look up Olive Arc just for fun. Let's clear, because we know. Ollie, what you got? Oh, look, Olivia comes up. Different kind of Ollie. And just play with the class and faction of your choosing. Doesn't change alignment, though. Um, so it is a Devarinian, just not getting boosted. And it would be a cleric. So it could play Reflect. Um, so it's either that or an extra strike while removing insight courage from the discard pile um if we think that two ac is going to matter but if we're running healing it probably doesn't um what do you guys think dame ollie or ollie quiet what are you guys thinking what are we feeling both have two hp both have one strike um she can't really cast any of the spells, but she strikes the turn that she comes in, assuming I have a spell in the discard pile, which, mind you, we have 24 spells, so she'll be going off. Um, and she gets plus two bonus for each spell in the discard, so she can be potentially a plus 10. Um, based on the number of spells, I actually like her, now thinking about it. Um, if there's one thing that all of our ends up being an issue for, and he could kind of slot in, but let's try out Dame. Let's see how this goes. I don't remember her seeing a lot of play, so could be good. All righty. We have the deck. So using the little save function gives me a little notepad that you guys don't see since I'm not screen sharing that. Uh, let's... We testing this. I guess I could always just throw up one game. Let's see. 11.20 here on the East Coast. I mean, probably do need to get to bed. I could probably play one quick game. Woody, you want to jump on and play a game real quick on Untap? Like something we maybe can just kind of run through real quick. Um, He is good. So, yeah, we can probably jump into Discord, too, and it'll get you on voice. Uh, but first, let me switch this over. So, hope you guys had fun building the deck. Uh, maybe I'll do more of these. We'll see. But... Do I have, I was going to offer, but I don't think you'll get a real idea for it against it. I mean, it's still a thing. All right, cool. So my untapped isn't up. There we go. So let's create the deck. Oh, look at all these other decks I got built. Look at all these other, the four EE decks I got built. Hmm, I wonder where I'm going. Uh, those I didn't do videos for. So, Madriga, EE, -E, create the deck. Let's go and paste the deck. Boom, so everybody's here. Import cards. Oh, look at that. Now we just gotta put the cards in play that we want. So, Maddie's gonna go all the way to the top. Acolyte Door is gonna go all the way to the top. And Lady, sweet Lady H. Here we go. So, got to do some. I don't know if you guys are as obsessed as I am. You know what? We're making this sweet Lady H as the cover image. Um, If this is who we're going to build the deck. I know it says Madriga. Nah, I got to put Madriga. Come on. What are you doing, Chris? So, Madriga will be that. You know I gotta change up sleeves. Hold up. 
can't just play with just the untapped card back. That would be too easy. It would get annoying to have to do this for like every single one. I can't just kind of preset it. There we go. Now we have the Warlord card back. We're playing Warlord. Come on. Got to have that card back. All right. So this is done. Let's click save. There we go. It is worth one untapped coin. That's what we're seeing. Okay. I think we're ready to go. People who say I'm joining Team Jersey are cyber bullies. That, there's one person who's saying that. And uh, Jens is probably, probably is a cyber bully. Good guy, cyber bully, when it comes to sending you off the Jersey. But let's join in. Relaxed. Oh, this is fun. Oh, what is this? Oh, you sent me a message with the little password. Oh, that's so sweet. Here we go. Let's enter the game. Uh, Woodrow, you, I'll see. Oh, you were already waiting in the Niobe's Hangout. All right. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Hey, good morning. Hey, hey good morning. Not yet. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. It's uh, getting late. All right. Customiz you see, Sandra said the customization is the real game. Absolutely. If you don't look good doing it, what's the point of doing it? Um, all right, Woody, you've been active in the chat and now you're on playing. So thank you very much. Helped us build this deck and now let's see how it works. Moving up the ropes. All righty, so the doors are gonna move. You're gonna stream snipe me, right? Cause you're playing for keeps. I turned your stream off, sadly. Wow, now I don't get the viewership. There goes those stream analytics. I know it was it was a tough decision. <laughs> I figured I'd play into your paralysis ward in your uh, your whirlwind here. Got me. So let's see, novice Ruth, what you got going here? Fighter at Claire. Oh, so it's like a level three character that you can start on the two. Like chasing characters get plus one for each character in its rank. Nobody knows about this card. This card is busted. <laughs> Stolen Destiny in general is busted. This this card is busted in Ancients. Absolutely. Cards is busted. All righty. Let's shuffle up in the first mm -hmm. hand of a deck. See, and this is this is usually the make or break. Because usually you're gonna see the deck you just built, the first draft. You're gonna draw an absolute all thing. And you're like, I just wasted two hours. This is terrible. But it's so true. Let's see what we get. Draw five. Okay. We see things. Oh. Mm. Well then, excuse me. You have initiative. <laughs> all right. I will we'll, start we'll the go. timer. Sure, yeah, 90 <laughs> minutes. We'll go with an improvised shield. We'll go the uh, Medusa Lord route of equipping Brunthor's Helm first. There we go. Um, so let's play Insight Courage from Madriga. And I can discard up to two cards, up to four if I want. So let's discard four. Mm -hmm. So draw to discard. We're going to draw four to the discard. So let's see, what do we lose? A Reflect, a Cheat Death, a Lift, and a Dilshan Keeper. Oh, solid cards. Uh, and then this is in my discard now, so let me clone this. Right, minus two. Plus five, minus two. Uh, yes. And note, plus five, minus two. All right, we'll shove one of your Lady Helene's. What in God's name is this? Who, Gladys? Yeah, I don't know who Gladys is. She's just a lie. Yeah, why don't we just play a lie? Well, he's in there too. He's a lot better. He has six six skill compared to three. All right. Boop. So falls goes back and falls forward. Yep. And then... Let's see. Um... Let's put on the Isidra title mace. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll pass. <laughs> I play those two cards and then pass? Look at you. I, I like passing it from this spot. Let's go Cardo Broman on this lady. 
Oh, we got punished for not waiting with the Gladys. Um, bum bum bum. Sure, we'll pass. Man, you're just trying to go like Shan all their stupid things. Um, <laughs> let's attack. Mm. Lear militia. Okay. For a lot, that should hit. See what happens. Wait, is this which one's Bromond? Oh, you're swinging at the Bromond one. Yeah. Uh, we'll wait. We're going to reflect off the other one, so we will spin react. We'll shuffle, find a card. Yep. I think we'll actually consider. Probably want Shaden here. We'll reveal Shaden. There you go. Uh, we got a correct, so we'll move a Gladys forward. Cool, that is our target for the second strike, and I'm going to roll two. Sure. That'll stop right there. So that'll hit. Seems good. Yep. Okay. Uh, you haven't... Is there any consideration for just stunning EM forward? I don't think so. There's so much movement in this deck. Surely it's better to be spent rank two. Um, we like passing from here. Uh, let's go ahead and order with Madriga to give everybody plus three. Okay, pass. Move forward, Broman. Mm-hmm. Your action? We'll pass. We'll uh, pass. I think I passed two as well. I can't have you playing yep. Alder out there, so we gotta... Right. Gotta do it. All right, so Insight goes away. Well, that one. Uh, let's... Discard yeah. sees life. It's on tap. So your characters keep the plus one attack, minus two AC. Oh yeah, let's just keep that out there then. It's clone. Oh, you know I didn't shuffle my leer. Uh, just put it all back and shuffle. All right. All right. So there you go. So now this note is plus one, minus two. Just keep that out there as a note. Trigger has wounds, which draw four cards. How many did you keep? One. You kept one? Okay. These initiative rolls, pretty good. Ooh, oh, Ooh. you need your Dame uh, Dame Olivia ah, break the tie. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go get a uh, a seed. Culver Dothic, as you are a paladin. Let's see, what's to say? Yeah, yeah, we probably have to get this. Shuffle. So it gives you magic resistance and if your opponent will perform an order. Okay. Um, MR. It goes right into play, right? Yep, I believe so. Yep, equip it. And legally equip it. You spend it. Okay. We will have, I think Broman can just cast this, right? Correct. Yeah, so Broman's going to cast it and discard top four. Draw two. <laughs> armor class not looking so good. Yeah, we don't need armor class. All right. So we That's lost right. The Dame, the another Insight Courage, Apprentice, and that. All right, so. So you have plus six attack, minus four AC. Well, I got three of them in there now, so it's plus seven attack. And oh, you hit another AC. Insight. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well... All right, We're I all think in, we'll baby. we'll just call everything a hit. <laughs> there we go. No more dice rolling. Just every every strike's a hit from either side. Uh, okay. I think we're good to. Let's see. This is probably bad. We'll equip a great axe. All right. So you're doing extra woundage now. Um... Extra woundage. Per turn, remove. There's no such thing as exhaustion. So what am I worried about? Um, There's no exact. Yeah, it's hard to not think about exhaustion, isn't it? Yep. Let's um, we'll use the 
Nightfall ability on Madriga. To heal. And give a plus one to... Do I, I can give it to anyone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Another Devrening gets plus one HP permanently. Um, so... So this one is Bromond right now. And it now has plus one HP. Sure. Uh, I think we will... Yeah, we'll react with our prey. You got it. Roll for it here. Uh, we'll move your Broman one back. Oh, actually, no, no, no. This is moving people forward right now, isn't it? Huh, let me think. <laughs> it's nightfall. That's not <laughs> Salaya Scar anymore. Uh, what do we want to do here? Do we want to take two wounds? Yeah. I technically know if you were an Axe of Faith, but you have a Charles Title Mace, so we don't want to get... We don't have that happen. Uh, Shade and Alder? Is that a consideration? We will... Hmm. We'll play Shade and Alder. All right. Enter's place spent in rank two. Um, Three, I think. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Three. Uh, let's have the lady... Start attacking. Uh, so sure. Plus eight. Um, AC of Ruth is... Oh, no, inconsequential. 14. So, no, that's, if I'm plus eight, 14, yeah, so that is possible. So let's roll two on that. On the knob. Sure. So that's 15. That'll be enough. Yep. Or no, that's 14. She dies. Yeah, but, yeah. And then the 16 would have been a good uh, second strike, yeah, we'll go. I have to actually roll it. Let's go at a leer. Oh, I see. You mean, yeah, yeah. that right, So leer will shuffle in. We'll go find. Uh, let's get. Let me think here. We want probably. Man, brother D is tempting. It's probably correct. We'll take Ada. Okay. All right, then we will remember to shuffle, and we'll follow the no we'll follow the novice Ruth. <clears throat> Man, you're gonna tile mace me. It's so sad. Um, we'll close combat. E, em or Aiden or Alder rather, Shaden. Which one do we want to close combat? I guess the bonuses do matter because we're gonna get minus five. So we would go down to like what? We go down to plus three attacks, and your guy, your Lady Helene's have minus sixes. So close combat, you move forward, and then you characters in the oh, same rank have plus three plus. You know, this is easy. This is easy. Shaden can't use it. That's real easy. That makes it a lot easier. We'll move up with uh, <laughs> with Em. I was thinking you do maybe do Shaden. But uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, he doesn't have bonus to levels. He's still a level one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking I would. I was like, should I should I move him up? And then, but yeah, it doesn't matter. So all right, there's him. Good. There's Get e your wounds on him. Yeah, I think I got it right. Seems good. Okay, and that's the thing. It's like I can't really title mace now. It's just like let's just swing. Uh, so his AC is nineteen, right? Um, correct. He's gonna repost back on my face. He does have repost. Oh, he has plus six attack. I think I. What I should have did was put the mace on Broman, so I have Madriga for spend orders. But um, right, he's actually got plus ten attack right now. Oh yeah, because he's giving himself the bonus, right? Yeah, combat plus the axe and the the prey. He is in the same. That's himself. That is true. Oh, sorry. He actually has, uh, because of Novice Ruth, he, he also has another three, so 13. Okay, cool. So then, yeah, that would put him at eights, which is still going to hit me anyway. So, yep, that makes this easy. <laughs> right. Maybe yeah, a swing. Good. Sure. Let's go for Ian. Or, yep. Let's go for Novice Ruth first. Uh, I'm going to roll, roll two on this one. Sure. Not, not at it. Counter. 
Rolling two, so that should be enough right there. Yep. Uh, second strike. Let's. Do we want to give him his repose? Do we want to just wait? I mean, killing a leer is not an option. So yeah, let's let's swing it. Ian, let's go for it. I'm afraid of no ghosts. That is a we're plus seven, so we're to eighteen. I think we just missed by one. We'll go for a post and miss, I believe. The fifteen plus four just misses. Uh, all right, and I'll I'll mark that on him. Whoops, sorry. Let's mark that on him. Let's play. Oh, I keep trying to use Gladys, Gladys as a uh, as a Salai. It's just it doesn't work that way. Um. Let's see. We probably we probably should swing. I mean, how much healing could you really have? Like double reflect plus seize life, I guess. Is what it would take to keep Lady Helene alive. She's got two hit points, and that would be another like four. And I'd still have extra swings. I think I just have to do this. Or do I play Ada first to get the skill against the Reflect and other potential stuff? Let's just swing. Let's go on the ready, Helene. I react. Take your bait. You've got it all set up. Good. All right. First, first one on Nuri. Easy peasy. Down he goes. Any um, effects? No effects. Two wounds. Second swing, Lady Helene. Go for it. No. Well, probably that, still. Well, actually, yeah, it might still. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So it's well, she has plus not that big. she has plus four AC from her ability, and then minus six, so she's technically minus. Six, so she's a nine. Uh, These are plus eleven, so that was a thirteen. Yeah, that'll hit. So let's go Two ahead. Wounds. And seize life. Okay. Uh, so it reduces and then takes one, and then we will say. Um, the front three get seized life, Broman and sure. Dora. Okay. Got it. So she's got one left. I think we'll actually go. We've got two more. So we'll go on a spent Helene. Okay. Got Great. there for two. Dies. And a spent Helene. Got there for two. Dies. Good rolls. No ones. And an even when we needed it. So this one has the extra HP, and so it says, okay. So the extra HP one is, uh, let's just add a counter to, uh, just so we know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to tell them right now. Um, let's go. Um, you've already reposted, so yeah, there's no reason not to swing at your Warlord here. Nope. Let's go for Seems it. Seems good. Uh, that is plus eight to so sixteen. You got a nineteen. I think you are you. You should be higher than plus eight, right? Because you've got plus seven off courage. So oh, the and then the Broman. So yeah. Oh, so Broman. I forgot about the Broman. So yeah. Then I, then it's a twenty. I hit. Yeah, yeah. You should be good. So that's one wound. Second strike. Uh -huh. Let's go for it. That'll hit. Oh, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll improvise shield that one. <laughs> Sounds good. Temperance. Yuck. I don't want to play against either of these. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's bring, uh, let's bring Madriga forward to rank. There's no level on that one. Move <laughs> a character forward one rank. Wow. That card's stupid. <laughs> I, I honestly would have rather had saliva. Yeah, I agree. Saliva's in here too. Gotta love the plus six with a uh, reflect. DC 21. All right. So we know that everybody is seized up here is actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. That lady's going to feel bad when her turn starts, though. Well, she still has a hit point. Let's put Dilchan Keeper right there. Seems like a good place for him. Let's put Ada right here. That's also a good place for her. Um, you know? Big brain in that over here. Keeper is going to go at Ian. Sure. Plus seven. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Let's go Ada on... I guess we have to go straight for the Keeper. Go for it. Plus three. Down he goes. It's pretty good, yeah. Let's go ahead and pass. 
We will put Gladys over here. And then your action? I will pass. What's uh, Helene's AC? Helene's AC. Minus six. Minus six, but plus four. So minus two, she's a nine. So nine? All right, we'll take a plus one at that. Hey. <laughs> do it. She's still kicking, though. She is. I will pass. I will also pass. Okay, now she's not kicking anymore. Yeah. Maybe I should have moved that Acolyte door up. Uh, but it's tough. Get ready to start swinging. So uh, I might react. Don't roll initiative. I might want to roll two. We'll see. Sure. Uh, so let's edit the note. So we are now plus three minus six. Oh. <laughs> The value is gone. It's like in uh, 3.5 Dungeons and Dragons, you could like be venerable age and you'd get like plus three to your mental stats, but all your physical stats went down by like six. We drew a three C's life in like the top 10 cards. That was, that was fun. Uh, Dude, my first, my first hand was aid, aid, reflect. It was, it was bad news. No movement. Bad news bears. Okay. Let's roll some initiative. Three. I will say my initial rolls have been golden. Mm. I don't benefit from waiting in any way, shape, or form. So here we go. Um. Oh my goodness, freaking Doris. Let's go. Uh, I think we'll we'll start on Broman. He seems like the path of least resistance. Go for it. Good morning, <laughs> my dear fellows. Sheesh. Ooh, hey, we're getting. A visit from Sly Fox. How you doing, buddy? Good morning, uh, bro. It is good morning. Oh. <laughs> it's very morning. <laughs> it's it's five forty-five. Roll for two me. there on that one, bud. There we go. You'll take that odd. Yep. You're uh, live on stream, point. by the way, Sly Fox. Say hello to Twitch. Huh? Oh, same. holy fuck. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> <laughs> same place. You're live. Roll okay. two I again. Do. I would have done. Sure. But uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you missed. Fine. Uh, third one, same place, the ready one. Go ahead. There we go. And fourth one, same place, the ready one. Oh. Yeah, you got nothing. Uh-huh. Uh and I was thinking, yeah, get my morning coffee and watch two nice guys a little bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'd say hello. And no uh -huh. Technically. Um, all right. Acolyte Dora is going to swing at uh, Ian, and we're going sure. to quick strength this bad boy. Ooh. So swinging at plus nine on Ian. Okay. That'll wound. That hits. We will go for a post. Good on the check and good on the strike. You got anything? Two wounds. Let's go for the win. Oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> Let's well, go I got, for I got, the win. I got plus, plus two skill from the Ada. So this is plus nine. But the, oh, I mean, it's you huge. Oh, you really good. <laughs> I did roll really good. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't. Yeah, one, one. Gross. All right. So that was my action. So it's your your mm -hmm. decree. Oh yeah, that is strange. Yeah, you're right. We'll uh, we'll play this old Spencer Latham in our hand. That's pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. While we still can, let's try and stun your warlord. Mm -hmm. We will. We'll go for a magic resistance on that. What wizard do I have there? We're good on magic resistance. I don't have a wizard. You don't get magic resistance. Oh, what is it? Oh, what? You need okay. a, I, There's no opposing I got to read. I got to read my cards. Okay, well, that's my roll then. What's yeah, my you're, thing? Yeah, you're good then on the roll. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Oof. Good call. I didn't realize that. I just, I'm like, oh, I get everything right because I'm the one playing the card. We'll take some minus ones at Dora. Hey, that's my it's AC six. minus one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Because I thought I needed a six or above. Oh, sorry. Found the, Down it found the, found the even. Yep. Let's go ahead and pass. All righty. Barisol, Barisol. Uh, <laughs> Shaden. He's cool. Pass. Yeah. I mean, it's got not, not much I can do. Let's go Gladys on Madriga. Yep. There's one. Right. Yep. Pass. 
Eight on Madriga. Go ahead. That, is... that hits, I think. Minus six. Yeah, so she's a nine. Plus one. She's yeah. a ten, I think. Yeah. And then... Uh... Pass. Go ahead. I will also pass. Oh, I just suck her. You don't want me to play my level one for my hand. I I had a Celia Scar, which I'm going to discard. I will discard that. And let's hold on to this option. The initiative rolls, man. <laughs> Might have been so good. Um, what do you want to do here? Man, why are her hands so awkward? We'll play a Brother Domini. Ooh, you actually gave me an action. Yeah. No, for sure. Dilshan Keeper. Ooh. Oh, dear. All right. KGB operative EM Unsullied wait, wait, wait. on the Keeper. Are you, are you going for the Keeper? Go for it. On the key. Just directly on the Keeper. Dies. Wow. Pile some damage on him and then on a Madriga. No, oh, on a okay. Good on Gunnery. Missed like a Gunnery. And then now attempting on Madriga. Go for it. Oh, did you miss? <laughs> I think I did. I think so. So it's a plus seven, plus 10. 14. Seven, 10. Yeah, you got me. Whew. Damn, you're good. <laughs> uh, proof of concept was there. Oh, yeah, I, I'd say so. I think we had options there. Uh, that was that was pretty good. The deck ran pretty good. Um, yours is obviously a balls to the wall deck. I think I, I messed up. I should have put the title mace on Broman and then I'd just be able to do that without spending. So I just got to remember to do that. Agree. Yeah. I didn't think about that. That's something you wouldn't always think of the first, you know, pass on a deck. Yeah. But, but now you'll never forget. Sight courage is pretty bonkers. I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I almost want to like. I almost want to be like, you know, should you find something to get rid of cards from your discard? Like that, that Dame Olivia. Uh, the, or, the order is nice, but the, oh yeah, Dame, she did. Yeah. So yeah. The order is nice, but the, the ongoing is rough. Yeah. Minus two. I mean, we do have like get Brems in here. We just never drew them. Um, right. Could just play more storm rates, I guess. <laughs> like those matter. Planners, planners, pretty good. I think a lot of people will gravitate toward clerics and kind of forget that wizards exist. So, yeah, but Dame Olivia is an option, especially with, look at like look at right now. If I did that and remove, remove, remove a one, spell. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's like a plus twenty something that she does. She's actually pretty good. Oh, it's plus okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, so she's good bonus. No, you're right. I agree. I agree. She's pretty good. I thought that I thought she said plus two initiative. My bad. Yeah, I think we're <laughs> I think she might be going up to times three. I might be cutting down some of these like little guys for her. You're all spells. You're you're definitely all spells. It makes sense. Yep. So all in all, Lady in waiting. Even though we got the L on this first one, I'd say this is a, a this experiment was a success. Well, you know, you weren't just playing anybody, you were playing one of Team Japan's elite members. Uh, you know what? That that oh. is a good compromise of what team eventually oh. gets you. I, I, I'll I'll back that. You know, did you join of... Zach this again? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did once again. Team Japan. I signed with them just yesterday. You know what? He's been alone for so long. You know, he he, he needs a team. <laughs> who, who, who was it? Who was the player? Who was uh, was Yok Yok Jafish or who was living in Japan? Yeah, Yok Jafish. Yeah, yeah, this only yeah, him. Yeah. Still lives. Yeah. <laughs> it's so difficult for him to match with West Coast people because they're sixteen hours apart. <laughs> oh my yeah, when you play against German one, you have twelve hours. Welcome. <laughs> the, yeah, Germany is easy. Easy. That's, that's easy. But man, West Coast to West Coast US to mm -hmm. Japan is so bad. When it be okay. East Coast, East Coast is worse. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's getting because you're moving towards him when you're going west. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Because he's 13, the far it's, east. <laughs> it's thirteen. It's thirteen hours from from east. So I guess it would only be ten, 10 hours from west. Okay, but for so. some reason I just remember West people saying they had a hard time matching up with him. I mean, everybody so. has a hard time matching up with him, but. It's true. It's like, true. Like, I, I I had to draw against him wow well, one time, but that, that yeah. was because the one time we slotted on tap crashed. 
Ugh, that was rough. All right, oh. guys, it is getting to midnight here, and I have work, and this was an impromptu stream, but uh, I would like to yep, thank yep. Woodrow for joining the stream, joining the chat, and watching us build Madriga, and for joining the test game. Thank you to Sly Fox for joining in. I will plug Sly Fox Live on Twitch, and I believe also on your YouTube. Yeah. Uh, Thanks a lot. Give, give him a sub. Give him a follow. Watch his stuff. He's good. Uh, more polished than me, for sure. Um actually a streamer. You're, the... <laughs> you're way better nah. you way better oh sure. look at us just complimenting i enjoy your content way more than my own <laughs> yeah because you don't have to make it <laughs> that's why yeah probably yeah but I, enjoy, I enjoy your i don't know your person i guess character person yeah indeed i am definitely a character all of us in new jersey are characters it's just how it is <laughs> and, uh, and, and i'm coming here <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming here today in your stream, not thinking everything bad because I've just woke up and said, yeah, come on, coffee. Yeah. Oh, what are Chris on, uh, are hanging out in the voice chat? Yeah. Let's just join them and yeah, get, get a good morning start. <laughs> and I'm go. here. Good start to your morning. <laughs> see that. And uh, thanks everybody in the chat. Thanks everybody who subbed and followed. Appreciate it. Uh, maybe I'll build another deck in one of these other days right before, leading up to the event. But uh, so far, so good. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.